good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Hello, how are you all doing? It's just me today. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, Lindsay, yeah, that, that piece is uh, kind of how I'm feeling a little bit um, today. I'm feeling very deep inside. Um, you know, being a mother sometimes can be very difficult, and today, probably my fault. Um, I have a little bit of a tiff with our youngest, and he's not here today because he has school. And uh, so um, Jane has school, Tyler, he's working out in Victorville, so he's moving out on the 14th. So I've been feeling a lot of feels, and that song is expressing that, and it's just, wow. I hope you can hear me. Uh, let me know in the comments. It's just me today. I had my shots last Thursday, so after the show. So I'm in the breathy stage. Um, I don't have the, um, the spazzing going on, so that's pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. And, um, yeah, good. We're still live. Um, I'm going to go 45 minutes today. Um, that seemed like the general consensus. I may, now that I have, actually have the studio to myself now, we moved Sam um, up to the, up to his room so he has his own space. And so I may do another show during the week and that may go an hour. So um, just a lot of really cool things going on. Um, thank you. Yeah, there's a, the plate is very full for me. Um, I'm hoping that you all are doing all right and, and that you guys are hanging in there. Um, it's been a very difficult, diff difficult six months. Let's face it, it's not been easy. Um, I hope you all are, are um, getting out and doing things for yourselves, having a little treat or swimming or whatever um, you need to do during these times. You have to get out. And that's what I've been doing. I've been getting out with Mr. We've been walking a lot, and uh, I've been posting a lot of photos about that. All right. Yep, yep. Hey, Leslie. Awesome. Good to see you, Jeff. Marsha, Jeff. Uh, let's see. i got to go back up. Uh, Lindsay. Rick. Hello. Gary. All right, it's good to see you all. I actually am doing everything myself today. And if you could like, comment, and share the stream, it will get more um, uh, views. And that's really important to me right now because um, I need to be honest with you. Um, it's been very difficult. Uh, my royalties that have been coming in monthly have been cut like 30%. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe it's because of COVID, maybe the businesses that have been open and playing, uh, the, the, um, stations that play our music, my music and my, my colleagues, um, it's been cut and that's very difficult for me because everything I make, it goes towards everything else. And so, um, so anything that you can do, listen to Spotify, Pandora, um, share links, um, and I'm actually working on a Patreon page that will help in this time. It's, it's very dire, and so um, I'm not begging. There's no begging here. This is asking for help, so um, this is my job. I love doing what I do, and it's my calling, and I'm not going to stop doing it just because uh, t times are rough. I'll figure out a way, and I've always have. I've always been able to figure out the next step, and it's been very interesting how things have been working in my life. Um, oh, thank you. Fishing, yay. Um, fishing is fun. I love fishing. I love going out. This, act, this background right here is actually a photo I took from, uh, um, I think it was Aliso, Aliso, Aliso Creek Beach. And the sun was going down, so that's I created. That was a creation that I went to a website 
that they created that for me from a uh, photo. So that's really cool. And I'm really excited about that. And uh, now um, I'm going to strap this guy on me. This is my metronome. And I've been practicing with it, and it's very difficult to get used to because actually not hearing the metronome, I'm feeling it. And you might hear it um, while I'm playing. And um, thank you. Yeah, it looks like we're like a harbor is right there. So that's really, really neat. Um, oh, yeah, fresh air. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Jeff more than you know. Um, then um, Jeff also, uh, Jeff McKay, he is a wonderful jazz musician. He's very, very talented. He could play circles around me. Um, there are people like that in this business and I'm not, I'm not discounting what I do. It's just, you know, I admire people that um, are really good at jazz because jazz has a certain way of playing and uh, I really love it and so hey Farrah Dunn it's good to see you um, if I don't see you right away it's because I'm by myself so I apologize for that but that's just the nature of the beast today and uh, anyway I was going to talk about this track that uh, Jeff suggested I do this track particular track and I have a wonderful wonderful gift for you guys after the show. Um, I'm going to post it in the, in the description once I'm done so that you guys can go to it. Anyway, this track is called The Lonely Road. Some of you might have it already because you've been producers and executive producers. Um, but this is a track that I wrote uh, in 1978, uh, recorded in 1983 when I was 15, 16. Uh, a friend of mine at the time wrote the lyrics to it, so um, the link that I'm going to post in the description will have the, the track. It was on a reel, reel to reel, when, when I recorded it. And it was sent to, I sent it to Penguin Records in LA about two or three years ago because the magnetic part of the reel was starting to degrade. So we got it digitally, so the, the songs that I recorded in the studio called Stephen Arnold Studios in Dallas, um, they recorded it and put it on this reel, and I've had it. It's traveled with me um, from to Texas to here, to California, and um, it's my first song, and actually saying the lyrics, that's when my voice was good, and it was the one of the most wonderful times of, of my life. I was a junior in high school. I, um, my parents gave me a little money to record it. Uh, the company, Stephen Arnold Music, now does a lot of the queue up music for CNN, ESPN, uh, probably Fox News, probably a lot of, lot of companies out there, so they do the um, they do a lot of uh, uh, music for them, and they have their own musicians that come and record at their studios all over the world. Uh, yeah, jazz is awesome. And uh, so I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to start playing, and i got to set this. So what I do is I turn the wheel here, and I press it like that, and then I tap out the timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now I'm going to change my mic and go to the piano mic, and you might hear it on my arm. That's kind of crazy. So uh, here we go. And it might be, it might be too slow.
Now you know what this does. And to turn it off, I turn it back and hit it again with two fingers. That's a Soundbrenner metronome. So now I'm going to take it off of me and let myself play without this thing. But I wanted you to see how that works because it's really, really cool. So now, hey, Rosie. So I'm going to go ahead and play it without the metronome. And that kind of, it kind of restrains me, but it helps me with my timing because I'm really bad at timing. So I'm going to go ahead and play it again without it. And then you'll be able to see the difference. I'm not nervous that I might go off on that. So here we go. Yeah, you know, that was my first song I ever wrote in my life um, called The Lonely Road. And then I wrote a melody for my dad. And um, he, he passed away in 2018, and um, everybody wanted me to play the song, and I hadn't rehearsed it, so I didn't kind of regret that. But The Lonely Road, uh, Jeff McCaig actually asked me about on Tuesday, I think, or Monday night, Tuesday during the day to play it. And believe me, I haven't played this track in probably for years. Probably not since maybe um, 2005, 2006. And uh, it kind of came back to me. I actually went to listen to the track. And uh, what's really funny about this track is we had two back backup singers. They were really good musicians, guitarist, electric guitarist, and drummer. But they really couldn't sing, so you can hear them in the background, kind of off-key. So, um, Larry, Susan, Steve, oh my goodness, it's good to see you all. Rosie, Beth, oh my gosh. I love it that you're all here. Uh, thank you for dropping by. Um, just to remind you, at the end of the show, I will be posting in the description 
uh, a link that you can go and download this music from the vault and the story that goes with it. And uh, that was one that I wrote when I was 15 and in high school I was a junior. Junior? Yeah, I was a junior. And uh, it was a lot of fun to do. And wow, you know, uh, how cool is that that we were able to put it, take it off the reel and put it on, on digital form so we wouldn't lose it. I know it's probably, it's, it's in my safe. I have a safe over here. So it stays cool in there, but I'm not sure if it's going to make it past the years that go by. So now I'm going to do some um, improvs. And um, actually, if Marv is here, hey, Randy, Marv, if you're here, I'm going to play um, a song for you. And don't forget the mic. Here we go.
I'm sweaty. <laughs> wow. Um, I have no idea where that came from. That's actually... I actually kind of like that um, key. Uh, hello, Manolo. Thank you, Jeff, Sashel. Beth, thank you. Wow. Um, I'm feeling... Uh, the best place, um, Marsha, you can listen to on Spotify, uh, uh, iTunes, especially iTunes. Um, the bulk of uh, a lot of people listen there, so I get a lot. I get really good pay from there. Um, I see my um, statistics on CD Baby because they are my aggregator, and they're the ones that push all my music to various different places, uh, digital world, and so they help. So, oh good, I, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, Michael, so good to see you. Cindy, wow. Gary, thank you. Michael Christopher, thank you. Jo Joseph, I hope I pronounce your name right, Joseph. Um, oh, wow, it's fantastic to see you guys here. Um, best place you purchase from me on Bandcamp. Uh, if you go to CoreyTunes.com, and the little shop page, buy, the, buy that directly from me because it comes from me. And I always send little fun things when you guys buy directly from me. Um, I have all kinds of little fun things that I can put in the, in the um, package. So I, I surprise people from time to time. I have postcards, fun little, little trinkets, nothing really fancy, but then you get the CD too. And uh, so the best place is my website at corytunes.com. K-O-R-I-T-U-N-E-S dot com. Wow, um, that, that was amazing. So I'm going till 2.15, so I am not leaving yet. And uh, I wanted to let you know, let's see if I have any notes here. Um, just remember, after the show, um, I will be posting a special link for all of you. This is for all of you for being here. Um, I wanted to tell you about, excuse me, something I've been reading. Um, I've been reading a book called The Art of Asking um, uh, by, uh, I think you might have heard of her. Her name is Amanda Palmer. She, she's a very unusual musician. She does wonderful things. Um, she's kind of, she's more than unusual. She's very eclectic. And I like her. I like the way she, she talks. She actually um, narrates the book. I'm actually listening to it. And it's really, really awesome. Timothy! Thank you, Cindy. I really appreciate the share. All the shares are amazing. I really appreciate that. Oh, and I wanted to tell you something I've been struggling with. I actually gained 20 pounds <laughs> during, I call it COVID weight. And so, uh, because I have been in the hospital twice this year. And, uh, like, of course, I had surgery. So I haven't been able to work out like I normally do. I usually go to Zuska light.com and I work out with her and um, and it's been probably a good nine months uh, since I've worked out uh, because of all the stuff that's been going on physically for me right now I am feeling so much better since they took out that little bugger the uh, appendix and I'm really glad that they did because it's been causing I think it's been causing all my problems and uh, um, I've been Getting back to eating better. Um, of course, you know, today I had a little bit of a, uh, I discovered lemon curd. Who knew it was so good? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some more, um, excuse me, I'm going to do some more improvisations. And uh, I hope you enjoy them. Hey, Sam. Great to see you. Good to see you uh, back online. Glad to have you back. So I'm going to do some more improvs.
Hey, Sam. Sure. Go ahead and send it to me at Corey at CoreyTunes.com. I'll be happy to take a look at it and see what I can come up with. <clears throat> wow. Sweating. <laughs> it's very warm in here because the sun is on the back of the house. And if I had the, this, uh, this thing right here, if it wasn't there, this room would be flooded with light. And uh, I would probably turn into a flame. <laughs> Did you guys see the um, SpaceX, uh, I think it's the um, rocket booster do the hop today? If you haven't, go look at it. It's so cool. I am such a nerd when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, Timothy, I'm so glad. <coughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I had a drink. Um, yeah, so if you get a chance today, go to the go to uh YouTube and <coughs> I don't know what's going on with me. It's just me. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. Anyway, it's just part of my craziness, strangeness, personality, whatever. Anyway, go to Google, not Google, go to YouTube and um, go to the, look at the SpaceX hop. The thing is a, a massive uh, monstrosity and it's amazing. Um, yeah, it's going to be really hot today. Oh, Michael, that sounds delicious. Can I come to your house? <laughs> Um, I don't even know what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. I haven't quite decided. I'm going to, uh, go ahead and play some more. <coughs> Good heavens. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> Part of the spasmodic dysphonia, which I have, if you look it up, it's spasmodic, S-P-A-S-M-O-D-I-C, dysphonia, I think it's D-Y-S, P-H-O-N-I-A, and if you look it up, you can, um, see there are a lot of people that have it, and um, it's a really weird neurological issue, <coughs> and it creates all kind of weird uh, symptoms. Some people, it's very different for others. It's a strange thing. I don't even know where I got it. It's not, it's genetic from what they've told me, but I've never heard anything about it in my family, so... What do I know? Anyway, all right, so let's play some music. And don't forget the mic, Corey. I'm going to stay on top of it today. Here we go.
Thank you, all of you. I feel your energy. I feel um, a lot of your um, support. I feel, I feel loved uh, with all of you being here. It means so much to me. I am so grateful that, that I have you with me. Um, this has been a learning curve for me. Uh, it's been huge um, from, you know, I, I last last year I decided not to do it anymore, do this live with Corey, but I had so many people tell me that I should. Oh hey, Pam Walty, so good to see you. Um <clears throat> thank you. Oh, thank you, Michael. I appreciate that a lot. Uh you you all are fabulous. And don't let anyone ever tell you that you're not. Um thank you, Rosie. All of you, every single one of you have contributed to me to keep going and keep doing this. And I'm going to do 45 minutes every Thursday. I'm going to keep doing that because um, <clears throat> I've, I've, whoa, <coughs> excuse me, 
So embarrassing. I've been rehearsing one to two hours now that I have Sam <coughs> upstairs. And I have this room to myself, so it's been, you can tell. When I don't rehearse, you can tell. When I do rehearse, you can tell. I really appreciate you all. I am going to say goodbye now and go get some more water, maybe an ice cream cone, I don't know. Um, you guys take care and text me, message me, um, Corey at CoreyTunes.com. I love hearing from you. Send me pictures and I will post them. I, you know, I'll share everything that you share with me. If you don't want me to, just tell me that. But I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye.